Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. We are in day three of the Roam Around the World Philippine tour. Uh, waking up here in Baguio, and look at the view outside. It's very hilly, hilly, hilly here in Baguio, but um, it was sunny like literally 30 minutes ago, but now it's it's a little bit cloudy, but that's okay. So the plans for today are that we are already packing up and then gonna be finding some brunch and then going to a nearby park and then making our way over to the bus terminal station to take a bus from Baguio City to La Union, which is like beach central. Um, so we're really excited and I thought I would talk a little bit about <laughs> my bag situation on this, this particular leg of the journey. So I have my drone backpack, which I was hoping to fly my drone today, um, earlier this morning, but it didn't really happen because there's so many power cables outside. And then I have a duffel bag that is like felt material, which in retrospect, probably not good for a rain, but it's all right. And then kind of my tote bag. This is a bag that I got a long time ago, but this is a Mark by Mark Jacobs um, kind of canvas tote that has been, you know, holding all of my essential stuff, like my little um, windbreaker, which you probably wouldn't think you need in Baguio, but it's actually a little bit chilly at night. But yeah, we're gonna head out soon. called Good Taste and <laughs> she's vlogging right behind me. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was recommended by a lot of people um, to go here. So we're here for like a late breakfast, early lunch, brunch. We get some brunch and then I look like it's a whole bunch of like Asian food or Filipino food. So just finished lunch and there was a line outside of the door when we left the good taste restaurant. It wasn't there when we were there earlier just to um, get our food. But we are heading over to this place called Burnham Park to find some stra strawberry, <laughs> strawberry taho, which is apparently like special to this um, Baguio region. So we're gonna go find some strawberry taho. Finally, we have our strawberry taho, which is um, a hot dessert. This is dessert? Yeah. Considered a dessert. Yeah. Ooh. Have you ever had the strawberry taho here before? Yes. Is it good? Yes. Yeah. I'm really excited. Gonna eat this up. Okay, so we checked out of our Airbnb and now we are at the bus terminal here in Baguio to take a bus to La Union. It's about like a two, two and a half hour uh, bus and I think we're leaving now. So we finally got out of the bus and it's a lot more humid here, but we're heading over to our hostel, which is called Vessel. Um, it's like a four story hostel. The ride was not too bad. It was just like a couple hours long. Just kind of sat and relaxed. Um, and now, yeah, I'm excited to head over to this hostel. It's my first time, so we'll see how it goes.
we just got to our hostel and it doesn't really feel too much like a hostel because we have a room that has four beds and typically you probably would kind of bunk with strangers but since there are four of us it's like private so um, let me give you a little tour so as you walk in you still have like a wall full of windows which is like providing a lot of light and then we have this really nice area we're gonna sit and then you have one set of bunks and then on the side you have another set of bunks stays down there and I'm actually above her and then oh there's light and then they have like little um, curtains that you can use to hide yourself as well as some outlet plugs and then a towel flat sheet and a uh, pillow it's really hot in here thank goodness there's a fan as well as an AC hopefully the AC is working it looks like there is some um, storage down below and then as you go out you have a little balcony area super cute you can actually see the outside we're here in uh, La Union in the San Juan beach area here is a couple bathrooms is this the men or the women are they oh 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 wait, I think this is women. Huh? I actually don't know. This is the rooftop. He said that I can fly my drone out here, but I actually don't know if that's safe because there is a net up here. I might have to figure that out later, but look at the view. The view is so gorgeous. You can see the beach from right over there. And the outdoor has this really cool, it's slightly raining I think, and there's like a nice little area here that you can sit, um, and also indoor. So here I am on my the top bunk, and it's pretty comfortable. I'm just really, really hoping that the AC will reach as far as over here, but as you can also tell, I'm like sweating. There is a fan right over there. Changed into a tank top because it was too hot in there. And hopefully when we get back, the AC will be a little bit better, but um, we're gonna go grab some food right now, and hopefully, that's like a... yeah, he should know that we are. So he was kind of non, unaccommodating to us when we were talking about the AC in our room because the AC in our room isn't high, isn't really working. So. Better to be out than stay inside there because I was literally, like, my balls were sweating. <laughs> that bad. But we're gonna go grab some food right now. Okay, so Mexican food was good. We had to like double fist the sangria because, you know, we had to be quick. But we're gonna head over to the beach right now to see the sunset. Say, you, did you get some sangria to go? Yes! Yes! Is it nami? Oh wait, wait, what do you guys say? Sarap? Sarap. It is masarap. <laughs> Can we please talk about how perfect this lighting is? The sunset lighting, oh my gosh. But here, we're at the beach. The weather is perfect and just kind of relaxing and enjoying the view. It's gorgeous. We're gonna go grab some coffee at this place called, what's the coffee place called? El Union. El Union. Uh, we're gonna go get some coffee afterwards and then enjoy some more. Margarita? 
Hey guys, so we ended up heading over to this place called The Surf Shop to grab some drinks. We got a, uh, a screwdriver, it's so cute with a little mason, it's like not even a mason jar, it's like a, a round mason jar. But uh, I'm just gonna drink, enjoy the company and it's so hot so I'm borrowing Joyce's fan right now. But I will say though that my glow is still there. <laughs> Gotta keep that tropical vibe. But anyways, we'll get back to you in a bit. Oh, say got a uh, margarita. Yeah. Okay, so we are headed over to 7-Eleven. Oh, they, they, they got all the... I wish, can we just sleep here? I wanna sleep at 7-Eleven because it's so cold. I'm really hoping that, where are we? 7-Eleven. We're gonna go grab some waters and then head back to our uh, hostel. Oh, it's so weird to say. But they have all of the numbs here, like chippy. Chippy! Anyways. I want chips too. Too? I want chips though. So, Say just got out of the shower. <laughs> But we thought that we would end the <laughs> we thought we would end the vlog for today, and luckily the room is on the colder side. I think. Well, they're still cold. Have you guys seen that episode of like Thirty and what is it called? It's like a like in it's like a long distance relationship dating. Mm -hmm. It's on TLC, I think. But there is a girl who's from the Philippines who um, said to his like her. Uh, boyfriend, you're so rude. You're rude. Mm -hmm. Which means like you're so rude, but with an accent. You're rude, you, you know. Um, I'm gonna mm -hmm. end the vlog for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more travel vlogs. And we will see you tomorrow for the next day of La Union. We're gonna be on the beach and relaxing and drinking cool stuff out of a coconut, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Okay, <laughs> <laughs>